today I'm going to read again to you and discuss the book Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. This book contains a classical story, a classic story. This had been known and had been read in story books long time ago up to this time, up to the present. Since you've learned about names, names of yourself, names of your friends and your classmates, including your teachers, Today, we are going to use this book, this story, and you will learn more about names of people or persons, names of animals, names of things that are non-living things, and names of locations or places. Are you ready? All right, I'm going to turn the page of the book, okay? Again, this is the front cover. And here, see, twinkle, twinkle, little bright star. Okay, so what name do you see in this book, in the first page what is this you write star is there any other here that has names look at the picture all right what about them you are right these are children children are names too and the children can be a boy or a girl a boy is a name it's a common name and a girl is a common name too right but sometimes a boy can also be the name of for example John and for the girl for example is Anne right okay now let's go to the story Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Look at that. Can you recognize the location or the place? Can you name the place? Where did you think the story happens? Or what is the location or the place where the, this picture is being illustrated. When we say illustrated, it's being drawn. It is being portrayed. It is being pictured by the illustrator, right? Do you still remember what an illustrator is? Yes, an illustrator is someone who illustrates, who made the pictures, who draw the pictures, Right? Someone who creates the pictures or the drawing in the story. Alright, so where does the illustrator tell us about the place? What kind of place is this? What do you think this one is? Well, you're right. It is, the place is probably in the town. In a small town, probably, because you see the car here, right? Oh, it can be a city, too, because there are buildings, okay? And what's this? It's in the house. You're right. Now, can you name other characters here? The characters, who are they? They are, no, who are they? They are 
the actors, right? They are the actors. They are the most important, important characters or actors in the story. They might be the speakers, right? They might be the listeners in the story. All right. Can you name? Can you name persons or animals? All right. Let's try first. If you see some persons or people here, you remember? Yes, the little boy. The little boy and huh, on top of up the house is what? A cat. Yes, that's a name of an animal. Name of animal, cat. Right, they also belong to living things, right? You still remember. And how about this? Look at that. What is that? Yes, that is a... Oh, it's an a nocturnal bird. It's a nocturnal mammal. It's not a bird, but a mammal. What's that? B bat. Right. Yeah, it looks like a bird, but actually a bat is not a bird it belongs to the ma mammal you know why because the bat feeds their young the bats feed the young with their, with their milk with their mammary gland and here's another one what is that it's a nocturnal animal it's a nocturnal living object and what is that Yes, you know, you are right. That's an owl. And here's another one with a bright eye, bright sight. Can you name? You're right. That's a cat. That's a cat. Oh, they are up at nighttime. Do you know why this mammals and owls are called nocturnal? Because they are up they are awake during the night all right now let's go to the next page oh look at that where is the location now where's the place can you make a good guess look at that you're right you find some snow there's snow and what else do you see Oh, there are dogs and they have sleigh. And look at their clothes. What kind of clothes do they wear? Oh, they have thick jackets and they look like they are. Well, what are these people right here? Can you name them? They look like they are. Right, Eskimos. They are Eskimos. And where do you think they live? Where is the location? Where's the place of the story in this story now? This page. Oh, it might be in Alaska, right? Or you're right. It might be in Canada. It might be in the northern USA, right? It can be in Iceland, right? Where? The place or location is, oh, it's cold because of the snow. Is there a star there? Yes, there's a star. Can you name, can you name, can you spot some animals there? Name of animals? You're right. Can have dogs and uh, reindeer, right? You're right. Okay, let's turn to the next page. Oh, look at this one now. I want you to make a good guess about the place or location of this story. The illustrator is trying to tell us that the place or the setting the place the setting the location they mean the same like place means location too and the setting is 
the place portrayed by the storyteller or by the illustrator in the book, in the story. Look! What do you see? What, what animals do you see? Wow! You are right. You see pandas. Right? What else? There are birds. There are birds, there are bats, and parrots, yeah, and some animals too. But look, look at the people there. All right, do you see people? Yes, people too are names, right? He looks like what? Right, like a boy. This one looks like a girl, and this look looks like a boy too you know you can call them boy or girl or man woman but they can also have other names all right they can also have like particular names okay just like Anne or john and peter it can be like that right okay now let's go back to the location did you already make a good guess? All right. So, yes, you're right. They live probably in the island. The location suggests that they are in the island. Now, let's turn to the next page. Look at that. Well, look at that. Now, where do you think this one is? There are trees, bamboo, bamboos, and... What do they do? They're biking, you're right. So what do you think is the place, the location? The location can be in the, probably in the islands, or it can be in the tropical place, or it can be in China, can be in Indonesia, it can be in the Philippines, it can be in the Virgin Islands, right? It can be in Samoa. All right. Because of the pandas and the bamboos. What name of animals do you recognize here? Can you name? All right. That's a snake. And this one right here. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Right. That's a frog. All right. Now here we are. Do you recognize the place? You've learned a lot of names already of people, right? Of animals too. And places. Now, let's let take a look at this place right here, which was guided by the star at night. You remember? Right, what do you think? There, were, there are camels. There are goats. Lambs are there too. There are scorpions and snakes. Where could the camels possibly live? You're right, in the desert. In the desert and the nomads. Look at the nomads. They're there. Right? And can you name people here? You're right. There's probably the mom or the dad. And probably the boy. Uh huh. That's the sun. And here, let's turn our page. Can you name the place or location here? Name of the place or location. Oh, look at them. Can you make a good guess? Right. It can be in Africa. Look at these animals. Look. They have what? Name this animal right here. What's this? Z you right, zebra. And this one? A buffalo, right? How about this? Goat. Many goats. Okay. All right. You see, they have grasslands here where they provide good pastures to their animals. All right, but they have also like wild animals, right? And here, there's another one. Look, can you make a good guess? Where do you think this place is? 
Is it close to the sea? Is it in the mountain? Is it in the city? Or is it in the farm? You're right. It can be in the farm. It can be by the hillside. It can be in the mountain. Right? Can you name the animals? All right. You are right. Look at those pandas. The squirrels. You are correct. That's a kangaroo. All right. And don't forget. Can you name them? Oh, yes, they are children. Boy and a girl. Right? And also they have like another animal here. What's that? Right, that's a dog. And here, at the end of our story, here is, here is a character who wonders what the star is. Who is that? That's the boy. And this time, he has, again, his, what's that? Cat. The cat. And the boy? This uh, being a, uh, what's that? Yes, that's a name. It's a name too. It's a toy, right? It's a common name. It's a toy. All right. So, what did you enjoy our story again? We did a picture talk today about names and then about the story, Twinkle, Twinkle, Phil, Star. All right. What did you learn today? You learn about names, names of persons or people, names of objects. The living things can be a living object or a non-living object. Then you learn also about names of places or locations. All right. All right. This is all for today. And then you... Learned also to sing, right? Thank you so much for being with us. Bye for now.